You're failing because you're stupid. The reason you're failing is because you're stupid. Now hold on. I'm sure you're thinking this is a harsh thing to say. Maybe there's a nicer way to put it. If you can think of one, drop it in the comments. But I'm going to say it again. Don't be stupid. This is not an insult. In fact, it is fact, and you know it. Let me ask you this. What is knowledge? Knowledge is information. So when you know something, it's called knowledge, right? Okay, what is wisdom then? Wisdom is the application of knowledge, meaning if you use the knowledge you have, that's wisdom or we could say you're being wise, right? Now, what is the opposite of wisdom? And so if wisdom, which is the opposite of stupidity, means using knowledge, then stupidity means not using the knowledge that you have, right? You see, stupidity is not the absence of knowledge. It is the absence of application. I repeat, stupidity is not the absence of knowledge. It is the absence of application. In that sense, if you don't have an idea or information about something, you're not necessarily stupid. But common knowledge says ignorance is no excuse. So, you're still kinda stupid when you're ignorant, but that's not the kind of stupidity I want to talk about today. The kind I want to talk about is when you fail to apply the knowledge or information you have. When I was your age, there wasn't any advice I hadn't heard before. I had heard all the advice to progress and grow faster in life. Yet, I wasn't seeing the growth I wanted. So I asked myself, what am I lacking? What mysterious knowledge am I missing? The more I thought about it, my very own knowledge made it clear. I had heard it all and knew it all but failed to apply it. But guess what I did even when my mind realized this? Just guess. Yeah, I failed to apply it. This went on for a while until I decided I really don't have much time to waste. I had to accept the fact that I had been stupid all this while. Thinking back, I realized that perhaps all or two-thirds of my mistakes weren't because I lacked knowledge, but because I failed to apply it. Again, stupidity is not the absence of knowledge, it is the absence of application. Upon realizing this, I pondered my mistakes and the mistakes of others. Guess what I found? We're all just intelligently stupid. We know what we ought to do but fail to apply what we know. We're just that stupid. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. You're stupid. Most of us could be crazy successful if we just apply the little knowledge our mama and papa taught us. But what do we do? We choose to be stupid. You can become successful if you apply the knowledge of consistency, respect, reading, networking, saving and investing, practice, waking up early, exercising, forgiveness, being proactive. You can become successful if you apply the knowledge you already have. Ask yourself, what do you know about the listed things? What knowledge do you have about them? If you truly seek the answers, you'll find the knowledge you need to be successful right inside you. Not from a book, but inside your very being. Little drops of water make a mighty ocean. The little things matter. 80% of outcomes come from 20% of causes. All these validate the fact that you don't even need to know it all to have it all. All you need is to apply the little that you know. So look yourself in the mirror and say one thing. Don't be stupid.